Hello and welcome back to the channel, it's Mark from Powersonic and Apprentice One to One. Today I'm up in a loft space as you can see, it's getting converted, this is in the process of being turned into habitable space in the future. We're popping a My Energy Eddy up here for the plumbers to connect their water tank heater elements into. The water tanks are going to live just behind me over here once the building work's been done and the suitable mounting locations for them, but we're getting a bit ahead of the curve. We've brought a 6mm sub main up to the lo loft for um, a little consumer unit where we're going to break out some other circuits um, further down the line but for the minute we're just going to wire that into the eddy get this all powered up connected to the wi-fi this is one with a hub built in we're going to do the ct monitoring through a harvey i'll show that been installed and linking the two products together as well we're a bit of a distance away from the main intake and rather than drag a cat cable across for a bit of ct monitoring it makes sense just to use the harvey so we're going to do that in this case and um, there's a detailed manufacturer's instruction book that comes with this so you get the the user manual which is for the customer always important for them but we do get the instructions as well for us as a separate document and there's really not a lot to these if i bring that in a bit closer up you can see the wiring diagram there so we've got our our supply in and you can take these from a 13 amp fuse connection unit uh, so it says in the instruction manual anyway although we all know what can happen with heating elements when you do that but it is still an option and then you've got the two heating elements that can be wired out from this um, particular heater controller. Um, now the two loads, it says here that one or two purely resistive loads may be connected. So you're looking at your, your water storage heating elements or your uh, storage heaters, things like that. But only one of them would be taking charge at any particular time. So it only outputs to one. The maximum rating of each load is 3.68 kilowatts and the minimum heater rating is 150 watts. So there is a maximum minimum to bear in mind. Um, so yeah, that's pretty straightforward really. The, the two front screws come off and then you can dismantle the eddy to get to the bracket, fix the bracket to the wall and then, then wire it up. So that should be relatively straightforward. I have also got a Harvey for the CT monitoring. Now the reason being, we're up in the loft space here, there's gonna be a sub board, as I said in the future, dragging a data cable up just for a bit of CT monitoring. Didn't really seem worth it. So we're gonna utilize the Harvey. Realize I've got us in some terrible lighting, so I'll sort that out as well for when we're running through sticking it on the wall. We'll get on with that now. I'll show you it been fixed up, getting the Harvey in downstairs at the main intake and then linking everything together, getting it on the Wi-Fi as well as a hub and then it's ready for the plumbers. So I'll crack on with that right now. So with this, you need to undo the two front screws. So you simply pop it on and undo these at the top and bottom without losing them. And then you can get access to the internals to start um, taking it apart to mount the bracket. Okay, so this is the internals of the um, eddy. As you'll see, it kind of hooks on the top. You see that there? And the screws fasten in these bottom holes here. And then that's nice and secure and mounted up, ready for us to tighten it down. If we can find the screwdriver to make sure that's not gonna come out and go anywhere. Okay, so you can see here, this is the terminals we're interested in to start with. We've got our input. The side over here is for the outputs onto the actual heating elements that we'll be connecting later on. But we've got our line, our neutral, and our CPC. It's mark supply on the board. You can also, you see, we've got our wiring terminals for CTs here if we were gonna use them. We've got a, a data part on the board as well, and all of the gubbins inside here that makes it actually work. So we've got everything we need. I'm gonna strip this LSF down now I'm leaving this a little bit long as I said there's some future plans with all of this it is a six mil cable I'll just show you this been dressed away into here and then we can go and get the 
Harvey powered up and um, see if we can get the CTs ready and waiting for this to all jump together later on in the install. So as I said with this one we've used an LSF conductor up to the loft so it is um, your 6mm line and neutrals and your 2.5mm CPC. These terminals are line, neutral and CPC so obviously the way your cable comes in there is a bit of adjustment which is why I've put a little swoop on especially so with them bin 6mm. But that's in there now, this is securely fastened to the wall, we can pop the front cover on so that simply slides into position. And then we need to reattach our front cover screws. If I can remember where I positioned them earlier. Here we go. And these are Posi 1 screws. So don't try and get them out with a Posi 2 because you'll cut the heads off and then it will be use nor ornament to anybody without drilling them out. So they go back on nice and tight. Like I said, there's no CTs to worry about with this one up here for the minute. So we've got that buttoned up downstairs with a Harvey which I'll show you later on in this video but as I say that's quite straightforward to install we are now waiting on the plumbers to be able to do an awful lot else with this um, but we are in a position now where we're ready to go and at least it's on the wall mounted and we can get it all linked up um, with the Harvey as well I'll show you that in just a second I don't know how that's coming across on camera but you can see there we've got the red in the positive and the black in the negative. I'll try and swing it up so you can see it a bit better. Pause and neg, you want to keep the twisted pairs together for as long as you can so we're taking them close up to the terminals. So you can see the Harvey down here is happily blinking away to show it's got power connected into it. It basically clamps around the line tail. Make sure you've got your arrow pointed in the right direction. In this case we've got the grid on the one side, you could have your solar generation or whatever else you're using your CT for at this side and then the load or the house at the other side. And then it simply draws its power out of this CT so it doesn't need a physical connection onto any electrical energy. It gets its power from the CT clamp, connects up via its own internal communications network with the eddy up in the loft and other My Energy products and it'll tell us exactly what this installation is consuming at any moment in time which is great for limiting EV charge points outputs and also taking advantages of excess solar generation. So let's move on with this video. Okay so you can see I'm up in the loft with the eddy again we've now got this connected into the power and as I said there'll be another video before or after this one which shows that consumer unit been installed where you can see how the eddy is wired in. See at the bottom here there is on off and bypass we swing it into on should start to power itself up and give us some options in terms of setting it up. So it's asking for the time and the date firstly, so we can go in and set that. It's currently two. Okay, so you can see now, if I bring you in close to the screen, I think that's coming up, fingers crossed, that we're drawing 3.3 kilowatts. And if we go into the menu, you'll be able to see, if I go into the internet and Wi-Fi, we are now connected. So you can see I've also got it registered on the customer's My Energy portal. So I've just logged into their account on my phone and you can see we're currently drawing 3.4 kilowatts off the grid and we have got the, the water tank logo there to dictate that we do have an eddy on the system as we can see right in front of our very eyes. So that is quite a straightforward way of connecting these. Um, you do have to register into the eddy's local Wi-Fi network using your smart device and you then get the option to input a password so a wi-fi password for the product and then you can connect it via that same system into um, the wi-fi network for the property you're working at if you then open the my energy app you can use the serial number and registration code for this product and it will then put it into your app really pretty straightforward it sounds more complicated than it is and it's all in this instruction manual so as i said so as I said at the start of this video, we can now put this into kind of hibernation until the plumbers have done their stuff. Behind me here, there is loads more building work going on. So we can leave this switched off. Just do that down there. And that's all ready to go. As I said, we're gonna pop a little consumer unit on the end of this cable in the end. I just wanted to get the eddy powered up, connected into the Wi-Fi network and make sure we've got all those ducks in a row because it can be a faff when you're in the loft and the route is all the way downstairs, two floors below 
um, and it was just simple to get it done now rather than further down the line when we might have had an issue. We know it works, it's joined onto the Harvey, we're measuring for the current being drawn into the property. So this is going to work really well once the solar panels are all installed and we've got the battery storage and inverter in place as well. This little eddy can divert the energy into the water tanks to make the best use of that solar generation. So you obviously can fill your battery up off your solar system and then anything extra from that you would export out to the grid with a product like this any extra generation can be taken and pumped into those heating elements that we spoke about so the two outputs here one gets a priority from the other and they'll heat the hot water up essentially becoming like a big water storage battery which is absolutely fantastic this is a brilliant product from my energy the eddy is absolutely class i really do like it it's one of the best my energy products in my opinion and it all ties in with the other my energy devices so if you're going down that route of having solar panels an ev charging vehicle check out the libby the zappy the eddy and as i've shown you on this video the harvey as well thank you very much for watching if you've got any questions about the install of this my energy eddy um, water heater controller do drop them in below if you've got any other comments or queries around anything else i've done get involved in the discussion until the next time i'll see you then